Hello the amazing viewers and subscribers and welcome to a brand new epic Doctor Who uh, type of an unboxing sort of video today. So today I kind of went out and I brought two Doctor Who finals and of course I've got them right here for me to basically show you what they look like and basically what I personally think of them and take them out of the cellophane and stuff. But before I do that, I have managed to go in today into HMV and I have pre-ordered the, the, the next two steelbooks that go into my fantastic Doctor Who steelbook collection. As you can see, we've got the classic series up to date so far from the Daleks in colour down to Sharda. And then of course I've got series 1, 2, 3, the specials, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 11, 12, 13 and the 60th anniversary specials. And of course, the two Dalek, two Peter Cushion Dalek movies. So I'm really trying to get my hands on Series 9. It's just, at the moment, out there in the wild, it is just ridiculous. Uh, it's, it's just ridiculous how much it's going for. So I won't be getting that one, but I have pre-ordered, basically, the Celestial Toymaker Steelbook, which I cannot wait to dive into that and see what I think of the animation. And I've also pre-ordered the brand new Season 1 Steelbook, starring Shooty Gatwa as the 15th Doctor. And as well as that, I've actually gone and brought myself a brand new cosplay. So when that comes for the post, the post, I will do an unboxing of that like I did with me Colin Baker one. Because this one, I'm quite looking forward to doing the unboxing video because I don't know how January I feel on it. But basically, I've gone and ordered the, my cosplay for the 10th incarnation of the Doctor, the brown suit with the brown coat. Because I was trying to go for the one with the blue suit, but that was a bit too pricey. So I went for the one with the brown suit because it was basically £100 cheaper. So I managed to get my hands on the brown suit. I've got a the, one of the ties, Tenon Wears, coming through the post as well. So yeah, I do have that. But I do have a fantastic unboxing type video today because I've not got one, but I have got two Doctor Who finals, as you can see. One stars Sylvester McCoy and the other one is Peter Davison. So I'm going to go through this through Doctor Orders and basically what made me buy these finals of fantastic Doctor Who stories. So I'm literally going to go with the Visitation first. So Tom and Ronnie will go down there. So the Visitation, it is honestly my favourite story from season 19. I absolutely love the whole hist, hist, the, um, how hist, hist Sorry, the history of like the history it's a historical and of course i really think it's done so well so i'm going to take it out the cellophane unbox it so you can see so before i take out the cellophane as you can see we've got a telerite we've got the we've got the android robot going around as the green reaper we've got davison and of course we have the fantastic uh, michael robinson who also plays the actual one-off character here the visitation i absolutely love it it's and i crack crack it's a cracking story from season 19 and the soundtrack this is actually the proper soundtrack to all of it so all of the soundtracks have been remastered and this came out in 2020 so i haven't really seen this out in the open before i knew this existed but i haven't seen one but luckily today i went to a record store in my local town and they had three finals they had the visitation time and Arani, and of course they had the sun makers but i already have the sun makers on final i've got it twice i've got one that's not been opened i've got one that has been opened so it is actually quite nice to actually have the visitation so the music we have here is the doctor who opening title theme have you seen the sky he throw 1660 richard meris and the mirror and the miller a fantastic in wall part that's for part one part two we have an incredible installation death in the cellar activation grim the pe the priest and his friends looking for the miller not again then of course we have part three which is basically trouble at the mill lie at the trap more trouble at the mill oh for a pros key the end of all of us and then of course we have part four on side two which is the a final visitation almost your old self eureka the sonic boom almost as we expected the great fire and of course the closing titles for the peter davison's era so this isn't the actual proper soundtrack like with the audio like we do get for hartnell but it's actually quite nice to have the soundtrack because the one thing I love about the visitation, it really does have a really good sort of soundtrack to it. And of course, the music is done by Paddy Kingsland and the work of the BBC radio sh sh shop. 
I have to be honest with you, this is a fantastic find. I mean, I love the presentation. I really love the music in it as well. And of course, recently I got it on VHS. Thank you to a wonderful subscriber and a friend, basically Andrew Hughes, who sent me a load of VHS tapes for free. And of course, they came across in that was the visitation box set along with Black Orchid. So I do have the visitation now on Target Book, VHS, DVD twice, and of course, Blu-ray. And now I've got it here on the vinyl. So I'm literally taking it off the cellophane to show you. So, and then of course, let's take it off the cellophane so I can show you what it's like. Let me just put that in the bin down there. So of course, this is what it looks like. Then of course you have at the back, as you can see, the fantastic imagery. Look how good that looks there without the cellophane on. And then of course, that is the back. And of course you've got the kind of Death Reaper type robot. And of course it has basically the information and all of the soundtracks on it. Opening it up and it does the it's literally fantastic. We have got a fantastic picture shot of the visitation. As you can see, we've got Janet Fielding here. We've got Peter Davidson. We've got Ad Matthew Waterhouse. We've got Sarah Kingdom. I probably will get this signed next time I meet Janet Fielding at a Comic Con and Peter Davidson. Get them to sign this. And if I get to meet Sarah Sun and Matthew Waterhouse, also to get to sign that because that's just flipping brilliant i mean look at that that's just absolutely brilliant and of course at the side you have information about the episode as well and then of course showing you the actual vinyl so when you take it out it literally has as you can see a white covering so on the one side which is basically side one you've got the fantastic outlaw and then we have the teller right at the back that's actually pretty cool yeah so yeah i had I saw this for an aspect, it was £25. So I, I knew I had to get it. I did, I saw it and I was like, I need to get the visitation. Because I was literally trying to find in this fantastic record store the one that was released almost two weeks ago for a William Hartnell story, aka Edge Destruction. Because I do like the Edge Destruction, it's a great two parter from season one. So I really did wanted to get that but they didn't have it in but i did manage to get the visitation and of course turn and running so i literally will just put the visitation there it's final i mean i love that artwork for the visitation i think this is the best representation for a story with the fifth doctor i mean i know there's one more there's two more finals one for the five doctors which I just seem kind of find in record shops anywhere. I mean, Doctor Who on records are very hard to come across out in the wild. So it is very hard to come across the two other Peter Davison stories out there. Because really, for vinyl, we've got like a load of Hartnell. We've got a couple of Troutons. We've got no John Pertwee's at the moment on vinyl. No soundtracks for Pertwee. We've got Tom Baker's got quite a few. I mean, when I say he's got quite a few, I mean, he's got quite a few. I mean, he's got Joseph the Daleks. He's got... Horror of Fang Rock. I think he's got Legopolis on final. I'm not 100% sure. I think he might do. Or is it just basically... It might just be Genesis of the Daleks and Horror of Fang Rock. But I'm not 100% sure. Oh no, the Pirate Planet. That's it. He had the Pirate Planet released on final. Peter Davison has the Visitation, the Five Doctors. And my all-time favourite story, Peter Davison's. A.K.A. the Case of Andrasani. Colin Baker has no... None of his stories have been released on vinyl. Which is a really quite shame, but I did get Time and Arani for Sylvester McCoy, and it goes perfectly with my other final for Sylvester McCoy, and that is, of course, Ghost Light. And I'm kind of hoping that we do get basically released on final the soundtrack to The Curse of Fenric, which is my all time favourite, and the soundtrack to um, Sylvester McCoy's sec my all time favourite second story with Sylvester McCoy, which is my remembrance of the Daleks. So let's take this up, I'll show you this one. So this is. Doctor Who, Time and Arani. And this came out, basically, I think around about September time. September, October time. Wow, wow, wow. Look how good that looks. you got the Arani, played by Kate Amara, Sessa McCoy, Bonnie Lankford, a Tetripe. We have the Lucursion. Quite a few Lucursions. And then, of course, you got other bits and dabs, like the, the Hanging Bats. Oh, man. And opening it up, we have a fantastic colorization of photos from that story as you can see we've got basically the TARDIS consorts, Resta McCoy, Kate O'Mara, we've got Mel and the Lucursion, we've got Tetrite, Tetrite and the Tetrite coin at the Tetrite base. 
the Doctor and the Lacertian. I can't remember his name, sorry. We've got the Irani again. We've got Mal. Yeah, look how good that is. I mean, look at that. It literally tells you, basically, the information about the story. And then, of course, i show you the final. So, there's literally two finals where there's only one in that one. So, this is what the final looks like. So, if I take out the actual record, final record. Come here, you little beauty. Come here, you little beauty. So, we've got side one. And, of course, we have Mel. And it looks like she's coming across the Tetrite. Side two, we have Sylvester McCoy. Actually brilliant. I mean, look at that. That's just a good imagery of Sylvester McCoy. And that is before he becomes the chess master doctor that I know and enjoy from his era. So yeah, I've got that side, that side one and side two. Come on, go back in there. No fuss. There we are. Yes. And then, of course, we have side three which has got the tetrite and of course side four so you're probably wondering what made me bought tam and irani because i know there are fans out there that does not like the actual story but to be honest with you if you know the actual problems they were having with tam and irani basically because they wanted colin baker to come back and do the regeneration scene but colin baker said no if you're not going to give me a full season then it won't be so they did have trouble with the production and trying to get Colin Baker to come back to do the regeneration scene, which does seem fair enough. I mean, if you're going to sack somebody, you really shouldn't really expect them to like go, oh yeah, I'm going to come back and do the regeneration. Then of course, this is what you got at the back. And of course it has all the pieces of music. So side one has the Irani takes the TARDIS uh, sound effect. Then of course we have leave the girl, it's the man I want. The Doctor Who opening titles. Einstein, a nice nap, a Eucursia and Locan, the Death of San, Bull in the China Shop, Barber Shop, Not Your Enemy, the Tetrop Eye, Landscape, New Wardrobe, Mal and the Bubble Eye, then of course we have part two, so we've got part one, part two, Mal and the Bubble Trap, continuing, the Tetrop Eye 2, Wait, Wait Here, Memory Like an Elephant, Faroon, Faroon, Icon and The Morning. Then side two, we have part two continuing with um, Eric, Eric Nets, the Irani, pauses, the Irani's TARDIS, you are a Time Lord, she's coming, the cliffhanger in the iron. Then of course part three, we've got Doctor on the Loose part one, Doctor on the Loose parts two to four, Doctor on the Loose Part 5, and of course the Bubble Trap. Then we have Faroon and... Faroon and the Doctor on the Loose. Future Presence. Breeze, Hologram Mel, just the expert as the scimitar, scimitar as he. Then part side 3, we have part the rest of Part 3. And of course we have all of Part 4, including my favourite track which is basically the one where the doctor's putting the bombs around the track drop big giant brain and then of course for bonus tracks so side four is basically just bonuses where we've got the doctor who theme from 1980 and of course we have the demo themes at the end so that is basically time of the rani soundtrack and a little bit i'm looking forward to listening to these two i absolutely do my favorite soundtrack out of these two i think is definitely the invasion but time of the rani does have some great 80 upbeat upbeat themes which i'm quite happy to listen, sit down and listen to so yeah if you've got these in your collection let me know what you think of them i mean i'm quite glad i've got another i've finally got a peter davison audio i've been wanting to get the five doctors or basically the case of andrew Sarney, but the visitation it's another good one really good one so that's really it for the finals let me know in the comments thank you for watching please do like subscribe and share for more awesome doctor who content